Let's prepare a quick cauliflower sabzi today something i believe you may not have tried before It's a delightful twist to the traditional recipe bursting with unique flavors that are guaranteed to give you restaurant vibes So let's start with boiling the cauliflower slightly before we use it Here i have around 2 to 3 cups of water kept for boiling and i will add some salt to it and some turmeric This is done for multiple reasons. The cauliflower may have germs and bacteria inside, so putting it in boiling water helps in removing any dirt or contaminants that might be present on the florets, thus reducing the risk of harmful bacteria or pathogens. Secondly, it partially cooks the cauliflower, making it slightly soft before we use it in the recipe. When the water comes to a rolling boil, add in the cauliflower florets and then let it cook for 1 minute and then switch off the gas. Then let it sit in there for 4 to 5 minutes and then drain it. Then let's move on to crushing some ginger and garlic. Here I have a small piece of ginger and 7 to 8 cloves of garlic and crush them nicely. You can also use a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste instead of this or you can just chop them very finely and use it. Now let's move on to making the recipe. In a kadhai add 2 to 3 tablespoon of oil. I am adding coconut oil, you can use any oil that you prefer. To that add in 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and add the crushed ginger and garlic. You can add ginger garlic paste instead of this. Now saute the ginger and garlic for 30 to 45 seconds till the raw flavor of the ginger and garlic is gone. Next we will add in two onions finely chopped. Now saute the onions for 2 to 3 minutes till the onions turn translucent. Now we will add in few curry leaves and saute it. This is a very unique recipe that I'm sure you wouldn't have tried before. I'm not frying the cauliflower before adding them, but if you feel indulgent then you can go ahead and fry the cauliflower before using them. Now I will make a slurry out of 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri red chili powder, 2 teaspoons of coriander powder and half a teaspoon of cumin powder. Add some water and make a slurry out of it. All the ingredients that I have used in this recipe will be listed in the description section below as always. Add it to the onions and cook it for 10 to 20 seconds. If we add the dry spices there is a risk of it getting burnt so we mix it in water and add it. Now add in the cauliflower. Add some salt as per taste. As I already mentioned you can choose to fry the cauliflower before adding it too. Mix it all well. Let the masala coat each of the cauliflower florets really well. Add some water if you think that it is getting very dry. Just add a couple of tablespoons of water, don't add a lot. Once it is all combined well, cover and cook for 10 minutes or till the cauliflower is almost 90% cooked. After 10 minutes, add in 1 tablespoon of soya sauce and 2 tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Mix it all well. Let it cook for another 3 to 4 minutes and then it is done. Garnish it with some white sesame seeds and some coriander leaves and it is ready to be savored with delight. The color looks so appealing to the eyes that even kids will enjoy it thoroughly. This dish will leave your taste buds dancing and your heart craving for more. So do try this recipe and let me know in the comment section about your doubts and opinions. If you like the recipe then kindly hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more such content. Do leave your opinions and suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.